OK, let's continue and see how we can improve the efficiency of such a machine. Well, first of all, what you could think is that in case we have uh, a bomb inside of the room, with 50% we blow up the bomb, with 25%, with 50% blow up, with 25% we get the information we seek, but with 25% and the rest 25%. We get detector 2 firing and uh, it's like a rubbish information, it's overlapping information that we don't need. What we could do is to recycle the photon when it goes into detector 2. Yes, We could, uh, instead of getting it out of detector 2, we could uh, let it go through the loop once again yes and then we could uh, make I don't know 100 loops like that and uh, then let the photon out if it still goes into detector 2 then we are almost certain that there is no bomb and uh, by making more and more loops essentially we eliminate this outcome if there is bomb we eliminate this outcome and are left with these two outcomes. And uh, in this way, we can improve the fidelity from 25% uh, to 33%. Well, it's just 25% uh, is half of 50. Now, if now we will have uh, 75 is 100, 25 is X. That's one third of a chance that we will get uh, the bomb detected by detector one instead of blowing it up. That's already an improvement. 33% fidelity for our machine if we make many cycles. And uh, the more cycles we make, the closer we get to that 33%. Yes, now the next thing what we could do is uh, change our setup a little bit. And that's more difficult to figure out, but uh, that's what the authors of that paper did. Essentially, you could uh, change the beam splitters. You could, uh, you could make like 10 to 90 beam splitter or even more, 1 to 99% beam splitter. And then recombine, the, recombine them on the oppositely uh, put fractions of the beam splitter and uh, again recycle the photon that goes through and uh, it's like more sophisticated uh, mechanism but essentially and eventually you can improve the efficiency of such a protocol up to the 50 percent and with 50 percent fidelity you would uh, blow up the bomb and with 50 percent you would uh, notice that there is a bomb there is, in fact, a way of improving the fidelity of mechanism up to 100%. So essentially, if there is a bomb in the dark room, you can know it with 100% efficiency and not blow up uh, the bomb. Not 100%, but approaching the 100% efficiency. In order to explain uh, this thing, it's 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 very interesting thing. Like. But in order to explain it, uh, we will need to go through a couple of more quantum mechanical concepts like quantum Zeno effect, uh, like uh, polarization of photon, polarizing beam splitter. Uh, I hope you continue with me through these uh, videos and then we will uh, figure out how we can do 100% uh, uh, 100 efficiently uh, finding the bomb. Uh, but a little uh, concept uh, why this experiment is uh, so interesting. It's also interesting because it's on the it's on the verge between uh, two concepts in quantum mechanics, uh, the unitary or uh, Schrodinger evolution, and the concept of measurement. Unitary evolution is uh, like a flow. It flows and it's uh, in 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 it there is no jumps, while the uh, evolution of measurement has uh, inherently jumps in it 
and uh, this uh, this particular thought experiment contrasts the two evolutions and shows how to get information out of this conflict of two evolutions and uh, the problem of measurement is still a problem in quantum mechanics there are different approaches different uh, um, different interpretations of quantum mechanics of how do you interpret measurement how do you interpret the jump that the quantum system and the wave function does when you measure it or when it encounters a classical thing and um, this thought experiment uh, i think it shows the conflict and uh, shows the niceness of it uh, in uh, this interesting uh, way <laughs>